Let's dig into the history of web components because they actually date all the way back to 2011, and a talk that Alex Russell gave at the Frontiers Conference in Amsterdam. In 2013, Google published Polymer, and Polymer is basically a proof of concept for what we've come to know about web components. They were able to publish it, get people using it, and bring the specification from the W3C forward. And it wasn't just a proof of concept, the original canonical implementation of material design was a set of Polymer components. With Polymer proving out the concept of web components, and the standard solidifying, and Internet Explorer usage dropping significantly, the world was actually ready for web components by about 2017. At that time, I created Stencil, which was a framework around web components to make them easier to use, to make them more lazy loadable. Then a year later, Angular released Angular Elements in 2018. And Angular Elements are a way of writing web components using standard Angular syntax. You would just write an Angular component, and then you would export that component as a custom element to be used in any framework that supports them. 